What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm sitting here just kind of, you know, minding my business here and getting ready for my live stream because the game, you know, I can't wait to see the Chargers and the Raiders. Oh, that's going to be a barn burner tonight. We got Kellen Moore, so we know we going to see all kind of offense with that generational quarterback. Justin Herbert. I just can't wait. But we have other news, of course, with Micah Parsons. Now, I put out a video just a few minutes ago about uh, Dan, you're lousy. I'm not going to call him Orlowski anymore. It's just going to be Dan, you're lousy because he really just is lousy. He's in that same guild as, like, you know, Shady McCoy, ass, ass, MVP, and Joy Taylor. Yeah. Oh, look at that Dak Prescott. What did he do? Yeah, those guys. It's Dan, you're lousy. But here's something that came across, which is kind of funny, because when Micah Parsons is playing this year and he looks to seem to be a generational talent, he's up there with sacks to start a career um, at 12 or more a season for the first three years with Reggie White. Now, keep in mind, one thing I want you to keep in mind, that... So a lot of the statistics that are now kept now weren't kept back in the day. Deacon Jones in a 14 game season said, you can look at the tapes and you can see I had 28 in 14 games. Gino Marchetti back in the day allegedly had 10 sacks in one game before it was even called a sack. It became called a sack by Deacon Jones, who said, you go in and you sack a city, you demoralize it. And that's why he coined the phrase. Be that as it may, Micah Parsons has only had two calls of holding by players. And we've all seen hands to the face. We've seen them being pulled from behind. A couple of times where these guys are literally on his back, you're like, get a rum, get a rum. And Micah Parsons says, you know, look, look, I mean, you, you see that now maybe part of the problem is we saw how the, the Eagles players, they must have gone to like Juilliard School of Dancing and stuff because you see Fletcher Cox, Cox doing like a pirouette, I'm trying to overemphasize I'm being held. And maybe Micah Parsons needs to go to acting school, too, so he can do like the Eagles do that seem to get all the calls. But he kind of been calling out the officials and letting you know this is a, this is the side benefit of him having his own show. I'm not crazy about him having his podcast and stuff, but he does it very, very well. Here's a quote from him. Micah Parsons said, sometimes when I when he tells an official that they missed a call, they tell me he was away from the play or or he was say that he was away from the play or he could not have made the play. And, and I want you to understand something here. If that is the letter of the law, then we have some major problems. This, the, this is the NFL now having to change everything that they do. Parsons, how are you going to tell me I, can't, uh, I can make a play? Are you in my body? Do you have my abilities? No, you can't make that play. I'm a little bit different. I think I can make every play. I'm near the ball, which you have to look at and say, because this guy's gone through three and four guys. He literally went and took Lane Johnson, boom, pushed all the way through him with a guy on his back who was holding him. So you can't ever say you're out of the play. And here's the second part of this. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. So are we now saying that penalties don't count if it's on the backside of the play and you couldn't make the play? Because I see a lot of calls. Illegal contact. The ball's going all the way on the other side of the field. And that guy wasn't anywhere part of the play. I've seen a lot of holes on the backside of the field when the guy has been 25 yards down the field. That one didn't affect the play. So are you going to pick the, are you going to start picking these flags up? Because if you are literally telling a player that yeah, there was a penalty, 
but it doesn't matter because you couldn't make the play, then every single penalty that you guys call needs to be scrutinized on whether or not it actually affected the play. You follow me? You follow me. A penalty is a penalty. If it's hands to the face, whether it affected the play or not, it's still hands to the face, right? If you punch a guy, it doesn't matter. If you have unnecessary roughness, the quarterback's already thrown the touchdown. It didn't affect the play, but he still gets the 15 yards. So how is it when Micah Parsons is held... You determine that, well, he couldn't have made the play, so I'm not going to throw it. Yeah. Yeah. This literally, you know, I, I wish Micah Parsons were mic'd up. And maybe he should be mic'd up sometime to entrap the officials to say, hey, bro, what about that call? And the official says, "Well, you know, I didn't see it, or you know, it was uh, you couldn't get, you couldn't make the play. It doesn't matter because then you've got proof that these guys are full of shit. How many times have we seen plays? You know, for example, let me give you a great example here. I believe it was was it Aaron Rodgers, Dak Prescott's rookie year, where they called." 12 men in the huddle. We had just made a first down on like the 30 yard line. They called unsportsmanlike conduct 12 men in the huddle, and we didn't actually have 12 men in the huddle. Now, I'm going to say that that call, that that infraction didn't change the play, but instead of being first and 10 on the 30 yard line, it ended up being first and 25 at like our 45. Yeah, that statement right there needs to be scrutinized by the NFL. That if officials are saying, we're not going to make a call of people that are holding because it's not deemed possible for you to make that play, then they need to change all the rules. They need to just say, we're just not going to ever call holding anymore. There's no way you can determine whether or not a player can be a freak of nature. and make, Because for all you know, I mean, you know, think about this. The player may stop, cut, and go back the other way, and you run it right into him. Yeah. Some more bull jiggity from the NFL against the Dallas Cowboys and one Micah Parsons. I'm Mark Holmes, and of course, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and um, I'll see you guys during the live stream shortly. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? Let's no. Go. They suck. Person. I've been telling you all season, Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter, Slight? They shit on you. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Caleb Carter? It's like they shit on you. Kill them. Oh my goodness! Did he say they they cock it on them? I hate the style of defense. I.